Okay, so enough <laughs> pop foolery. Okay, we put out the uh, BJJ Formula apps and the BJJ Formula DVDs, and we both got a couple of questions from people. Yes, talking about levers because the lever is a pretty fundamental concept in your approach to jiu jujitsu, and yeah. whether people know it or not, it's super important for their jujitsu. But there are different kinds of levers. So can you define them for us, and more importantly, show us how they apply? To yeah. Jiu-Jitsu? So um, I gotta I mention briefly for those of you. Thank you, everyone who bought the apps and the DVDs and yeah. that has sent me emails and visited my academy. Um, thank you guys, really appreciate it. One of uh, the apps I mentioned the idea that there are three different kinds of levers, right? So class one, class two, class three. Um, and a few of the people who bought the apps noticed that we didn't explain that, and they emailed me and asked me to explain it. So. Unfortunately for everyone who didn't email me, you're now going to have to listen to that explanation. Um, So a class one lever involves the fulcrum between the effort and the load. So if we can use this stick, for example, so this would be my fulcrum. That's the fulcrum right here. If the load was here, let's say we put something on top of that, then the effort would be here. That would be a class one lever. Now a class two lever involves having the fulcrum at one end having the load at the other end and having the effort at the other end. So uh, the simplest example of that would be like a rear naked choke. Or a wheelbarrow. Yeah, so uh, like for instance with the rear naked, it's easier if I use my arm. So my elbow is the fulcrum, I've got someone's neck in here, and this is the effort. So the load, which I'm compressing in this case, is going to be there. And then you've got the third class of lever where you have the fulcrum and then you have the effort and then you have the load. So this would be, if I put something heavier here, this would be a third class lever. Can you choke me out or submit me using a class one lever? So that's when we got the fulcrum, the pivot point in the middle, and we're pushing here. Right, so this is where we get into really interesting uh, kind of distinctions. Um, we're gonna be, we're gonna use the arm bar as an example. So Seth, if I could get you on your back. So there are going to be two levers in play. Your arm is going to be the class one lever. All right, so there's going to be a fulcrum here over which we're going to be breaking your elbow. Then we're going to have the load, which is sort of your body. And this is, this is not normally how a lever works. Normally I use a lever to lift what's on the end. In this case, I'm going to use the, the fulcrum of the lever to break. Right. Right? So the load, in this case your arm, and just, uh, or sorry, your body, and the fact that I'm restricting the load from moving is what's contributing to the fact that I'm going to break the fulcrum. Uh, so, yeah. End of the lever, here's the fulcrum, and as I apply the pressure, I can't, I'm applying effort to the end of the lever, the fulcrum is here, the load can't move, so the fulcrum breaks the lever. It's basically if you're going to break the stick. If I was going to break the stick, exactly, I could block one end of it here, and then put a bunch of effort that way. So that's a way, and then if you look at my body in that process, the effort... So fulcrum is here, I've got the load here, and I've got the effort at the end. So the effort is my bridge, it's my legs, the load is what I'm using uh, to break. So now we're gone. Okay, so now your body is working as a class 2 lever. My body is working as a class 2 lever in this case. So let's just go with the stick again. So class 2 lever, we've got the weight here, and we're lifting yeah. there. Yeah. I think of a wheelbarrow, because the heavy stuff's right between the, the wheel and the, the handles. Yeah. So how does your... So do the arm bar on me again. Yeah. Please. So again, your arm, class one lever, my body, class two lever. As I start to lift my body here, the load is in the middle, the effort is at the end. Okay. What about a class three lever in which hit here? There's your class, there's your lever. Right. So we had, with the class two lever, we had the effort at the end and the load in the middle, with a class 3 lever, we have the load at the end and the effort in the middle. The example I have in mind of the class 3 lever would be something called a twist sweep. So if you're in my half guard, um, and let's just turn some, there we go. So So this is a class 3 lever example. This is a class 3 lever example. So we're going to have a fulcrum here, right, your knee against the ground, and we're going to have the load here. And now the effort is going to be me mm. twisting in the middle to generate the force to move you. 
So my knee foot from here is locked down, and you're right. pushing so there's in my, the middle of the thigh. There's my fulcrum, there's my effort, and the load is up here. Beautiful. Yeah. And you said rear naked choke? That's yeah, so rear naked choke would be an example of a class two lever, right? So fulcrum in the middle, we've got the load, or sorry, fulcrum in the middle of my elbow at the bottom here, we've got the load, which is your neck, and then we've got the effort, which is my arms compressing it. Very nice. There you go. Okay. You asked, ask and thou shalt receive.